What's up, my friend? Welcome back to another video. And today we are taking a look at Musical Sampling's newest library from the Atelier series called Anthem Choir 2. So this is a sequel to their initial library, Anthem Choir, as you might expect. And uh, basically, you can think of it as an expansion library for the original Anthem Choir. Aaron Sapp is always really good at taking user feedback, putting it into practice, and basically taking his libraries the next step further. And so Anthem Choir 2 is basically the result of this. So let me quickly dive into the product page so we can see what we're getting here. Essentially, it's a legato choir for pop and rock and anthem anthemic genres. A lot of choir libraries we see on the market are primarily catered towards the choral style, where it's very subdued, very polite, very, uh, you know, mellow in a way. And so this one kind of takes the opposite approach. They take, you know, singers who are not particularly trained, for example, and get them to sing in their chest voice. So it's really rowdy, really energetic, and so on and so forth. So it's really, really cool. And it fills a really interesting niche as well. So uh, in terms of pricing, the intro price is $119, $99 loyalty price for Anthem Choir 1 owners. And then the regular price is $149 starting February 6th. And so there are three studio choir ensembles. There's the uh, impolite female choir. There's the polite female choir, which is, uh, as you might expect, a little bit more subdued and calm. And then the men choir as well. 12 legato patches, nine ensemble patches. Um, and then two different attack types per vowel, and it also includes shouts, risers, claps, and snaps, which is a, my favorite patch, one of them for sure. And then you get the reverb, of course, in the middle that is pretty uh, trademarked for the Atelier series as well in the middle. Uh, one gigabyte compressed, and also the free contact player is not supported, so you do need the full version of contact for this. But aside from that, we can dive in. So uh, here's the library. Let me just play through. First of all, we can see the patch structure here. Uh, basically, there are three women in polite patches. We have the legato a, ah, we have the legato m, and the legato e. Eh. And then the really cool thing is that when you press really hard from velocities 100 to 127, there's an additional vowel or consonant at the beginning of the uh, of the of the syllable. So for the as, I believe it's na, like an n. Let's just see here. Nah. Right, so you hear that na, nah, right? And if you press lightly, you just get the ah. So that's really cool. For the ums, there's a bit of a scoop. Like, mm, they scoop into the note when you press hard. When you press lightly, it's just a regular, uh, you know, attack of the note on right on the note. And then the es, there's a y at the beginning. So yeah, so it's like it's like a yeah in a way, right? And uh, vice versa, when you press quietly, there's no Y at the beginning. So let me play through the impolites first. We're going to expect a nice, energetic sound. And this is the woman impolite choir. So um, yeah, here we go. So that's the woman impolite. Uh, definitely a very raw, chest-heavy sound, right? And you can definitely hear the passion and the energy behind it, which is really cool. I definitely think these patches do well for the slightly slower type of melodic lines, um, because you know when, when you're using something like this, it's not meant as a lead texture unless you really want it to be. But usually, if you listen to the demos, for example, on the musical sampling website, there's usually a lead vocalist or a lead rapper, for example, at the forefront, and then these anthemic choir singers are kind of in the back. They're usually doing like the pad textures or lending uh, you know certain counter melodies in the background. 
So they truly excel to me in the slight, slightly slower uh, playable passages, but if you want to use them for runs, uh, they could work, but it might be just a little bit messy for your purposes, just so we know. Uh, let's move on to the woman Polite. So again, this is a, a different ensemble of women, and they are, I believe, trained, but Aaron asked them to uh, dial back the classical training a little bit and uh, just have fun. Think of a rock pop type of context. And so here is what we have. Let's start with the Oz. Right, there we go. And so, yeah, definitely more subdued performance. Uh, this definitely reminds me a little bit more of the Anthem Choir 1, which we will take a look at in a second. But um, yeah, generally very different sounding patches compared to the original woman impolite patches here. But what's really cool is that Aaron's also given us a woman all uh, patch as well, or three of them with those three different syllables. And so you get the combined force of the more rock pop sound and the slightly more uh, traditional sound, and we get something like this. Right, so much fuller sound, super big. And so that's really good for those climax moments, for those two T sections where you really want the female choir to cut through. This is a really good opportunity to use these women all patches. And then we got three men patches. Um, so let's quickly go through those. Again, the legato us start. No. Alright, now let's go on to the Shouts and Risers patch. I did say this was one of my favorite patches, and you'll see why in a second. It's just so raw, and it has that anthemic feel to it, and those, yeah, they, they all sound great. Now, I'm just going to skip the F-sharp 
for the sake of this video because I don't want this video blocked. Uh, but just so you know, there's um, it, it's slightly sensitive, okay? So anyway, here are the different sh uh, Shouts and Risers. Yeah! Yeah! Hey! Hey! What? Fight! You! Shh! Musical sampling sucks! All right, so there we go. And I, when, when I heard this for the first time, I didn't know what they were saying. I thought it was like, lose your sandwich sucks. And I asked Aaron, like, what are they saying? And he's like, oh, I don't remember what the A key switch was, was uh, but there was one sample where they're saying musical sampling sucks. And I'm like, oh, okay, that makes a lot more sense. And yeah, they're not wrong. Um, <laughs> anyway, so yeah, love this patch. I'll probably use it quite a bit. Um, if I do like, let's say an Imagine Dragons type of track here. Um, okay, then we got some claps and risers and then we'll take a quick look at the ensemble sustains as well. So here we go. Okay, so yeah, nice little collection of claps and snaps. And then here are some sustains. Now, there are quite a few sustains here, actually. There's the impolite, the polite, and the all. So there's like nine of them. I'm just going to play two of them here. So this is the sustains impolite for the ums. Yeah, very full bodied sound. And one thing I forgot to mention that I, you know, love, I think is a trademark of these libraries as well, is just a really clean, open sound that really fills in the stereo spectrum so beautifully. Um, especially the Atelier series in general. They just have this really upfront, intimate sound that which I, you know, really do appreciate. So then you might be asking, like, what's the main difference between Anthem Choir 2 and Anthem Choir 1? And kind of like we talked about previously, Anthem Choir 2 is like an expansion to Anthem Choir 1. So Anthem Choir 1, as you can see here. Um, there's the body percussion, which is at the very bottom. I'll show you that in a second. But we basically have the church. Uh, we have the church patches. We have the studio ensemble patches. Um, and then we have the mural key switches, which are the basically sound design patches. So there's basically two types of singers here or two types of singing approaches and then one patch each for the men and women. So let me run through this really quickly. Here's the studio legato for the women. I'm ashamed that uh, I couldn't have a low E note there to complete my E minor phrase, but that's okay. Yeah, so that's the uh, that's the idea of the first 
<clears throat> four patches there anyway. There's the studio legato and then there's the church legato, right? So obviously the church legato feels a little more uh, calm and reserved, whereas the studio legato is like that full-throated type of sort of singing. And then here's the mural key switches, starting with the woman. Perfect for those ethereal soundscapes. And then the body percussion really quickly. Yeah, so you, there you get like the foot stomps, you get the hands on the laps, you get the claps, you get the snaps. So you get just that, um, like we will rock you type of vibe right and so that that is a a very all-purpose anthem choir library whereas the second one goes a little bit deeper gives you a little bit more variety and so there's a few more syllables as well and more patches of course so i think these libraries complement each other very well there really is no overlap here and considering that they're part of the same series it'll be just yeah it'll be really nice to see how um, they work together in context if you use them together in a track um, I think you could get some great results here if you're going for that sort of pop rock style track where you need those background vocals that are super strong, but not typically trained or you don't want something with heavy vibrato. These are more of those libraries for you. So big thanks to Aaron for sharing a copy with me again to take a look at for you guys. And speaking of which, let's get into the giveaway for this library Anthem Choir 2. Um, so the same three rules apply. Number one, just fill out the form below in the description box, fill your details there, and you'll be entered into the system. So I'll reach out via email in a couple of days to let you know who the winner is. And uh, number two, make sure you leave a comment below this video letting me know what you would use this library for. Maybe also let me know your favorite patch. I would love to hear which one kind of stood out to you and how you would use this library. And then third and finally, just leave a like on the video. It's super helpful and it's always appreciated. So thank you so much. Again, I'll catch you in the next video and take care. Bye-bye.